Hey, what's up with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. I'm talking to you guys, everyone else in between, Nintendo, Sony Free 2011, or a.k.a. And we're we'll reading you guys on Russell Toronto's this channel. I mean, a bit shoot right here on B-Shoot, um, Odyssey, <coughs> Library, uh, Rumble, any other social media platforms, how you guys can obviously think of anyways today or tonight, depending on when you're listening to this or watching this <laughs> in general. As you can tell, um... Nintendo Switch um things is kicking about three days ago. By the time you guys see it, it'll be four days. Um, before you're asking them why there were no videos on Memorial Day, which is actually tonight right now, it's like two hours ago left. Many people don't know here in the United States and probably Canada for a certain extent. There's a thing that happens every once a year. It's like I'm pretty sure every country around the world has, even though <laughs> to me personally, it's just I mean it's a false bullshit paradigm of really what this reality is all about. I think it's probably just fake because. Mentally and spiritually, in my personal opinion, I'm just talking for myself. I don't know how some of you guys, whether you're religious or not, that's okay. Unless you're atheist, you probably don't believe me at all. But that's okay if you don't want to. It's your fucking freedom of choice. Um, we're all still pretty much mentally and spiritually slaves of this fucking world, in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, you know, every like country pretty much has like an independence day, except Unless there's somebody like out of North, North Korea, Venezuela, or Cuba, I'm probably not going to get any of that shit. But other than that, um, and that's again the bullshit politics, but um, yeah, I ate a shitload of freaking burgers. Beautiful angel beef burgers from my, you know, and this, this is me, I'm being a corporate show, unfortunately, because I really hate the passion going on, but I kind of have a choice. And I should get local. I, I get a little bit of Costco or Sam's Club once in a while, along with the... Uh, Couple good ass, beautiful Nathan's freaking hot dogs, freaking badass. I swear to God, I'm not sponsored by any of these fools. So I ate a shitload of hot dogs, shitload of beef, which <laughs> I hope the next day tomorrow I end up getting a stroke or heart attack from that because that killed me to the brain. I was on the four of them too. I could have had more, but uh, I probably wouldn't be talking here if I did that. <laughs> yeah, but in all seriousness, yeah, I, I really can't do that. And thank God they weren't plant based. It was, I've never, ever, ever. Eating anything plant based since like 2018, 2019, I've been doing that. I don't trust Jack did a squat, whatever the fuck they put in that shit. It's like I don't trust that VA double X. Anyways, um, <laughs> so it says, uh, Tom's Guide Me, Nintendo Switch Pro listing just popped out on Amazon. I know this is from a couple of days ago. There's some extra new extra news. I didn't talk about it, but they say this week, by the end of this week's Friday's Hatter, which by the time you're watching, it's already June. It's the last two hours of May right now, but by the time this goes up, it'll be June. Yeah, so that's the reason why there was no long uh, videos in May. Because <laughs> most of you guys have been here for a while. You know, Saturday and Sundays, I usually take it day off, two days off. But unfortunately, I started to work on my IRL job, too, on Memorial Day, so I'm still a little tired from five hours ago. But anyways, let's get started. This comes from the Mod Con. An accidental Amazon listing shows up. Nintendo Switch Pro, so I've got a credit card due from Tom's Guide. I haven't run from Tom's Guide in a good odd second, so let's get it started. When Amazon Pro, I don't know, Amazon listing pops up in Nintendo Switch Pro, it's all but certain that it'll be coming out soon. Oh, just in case you guys don't want to stay here for the first two, three minutes, I'm going to be talking about this whole controversy that happened last week, Saturday or Sunday, I think. About a day or two ago, but I think that's was probably like four days ago. Um, but um, <laughs> it's funny because I did a reaction review, and you guys didn't see it. Um, of Horizon Zero Dawn for Ridden West. There was that. So, uh, <laughs> and I know I did it for that one on the same day I did that whole Sonic Sega Central about the new Sonic the Hedgehog game that's coming out this year and the next year and the TV animation series is coming out from Netflix, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And, um, yeah, there's that. And then I heard this is almost a week and a half old, just eight, nine days ago from when JJ Abrams was going to make a portal live action movie. I'm a little nervous on that because. Kind of know how he did on Star Wars. And it ended up being a bullshit fucking political garbage thing, unfortunately. But I mean, it still looked good. The adventure, the side of sound effects look good. All the CGI still looks nice. It's just, the acting is freaking garbage, man. Oh, and I might bullshit on this for a little bit. I may not get to this about how well. This is more like internet commentary news. It's not really has nothing to do with um, anime manga news or video game industry news, but it says Amazon wants to make Zen booths <laughs> in the kiosks into this warehouse so they can um, have stressful anxiety, like depressed workers feel happy again. And people were memeing this mother really hard, so I don't know if I'm going to get to that, but let's continue. So this is Twitter. 
User Alphabet G spotted a Switch Pro listing when pursuing through Amazon's Netsuo website. And since Nintendo News and plays Super Mario Odyssey music, goes with it, should be. The listing shows a blank page with the new Nintendo Switch Pro plaster up, <coughs> up a Nintendo listed up to the seller. This further confirms as Bloomberg reports that the claim Nintendo Switch Pro may be coming out this year was announced before or during E3 to which pre order should start soon. So, Nintendo Switch Pro release has not so far. They are the best time of the. Uh, okay, that has nothing to do with this. So, it also goes on to say rumors of a Nintendo Switch Pro have been pre colating. I hope I'm saying that right. Pre colating. Um, I think it's percolating or pre colating. I ever said a fucking word. For more than a year, it came. It came to a head when Bloomberg was also able to confirm Nintendo placed a large order with Samsung display with an old web panels. Other reports have since backed up these rumors. Yeah, I heard about that. I think it was in March or April, or whatever. It's a month. According to that, Bloomberg reports that the Switch reports that the Switch Pro will be priced higher than the current two hundred ninety nine dollar estimate worth of three hundred fifty three hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, three seventy four hundred bucks. I don't know. It was a 405 attack, but let's move on. Um, the latter price would be, would put it on part with the PS5 Digital Edition. It might be a tough sell for some, some as it likely would have not the same compunctual, yeah, computational horsepower as Sony's console. In terms of this, Bloomberg has stated that it will be a 4K capable device, and as it may not utilize NVIDIA's Deep Learning Smash Super Sampling DLSS. That sounds like some creepy George Orwell 1984 shit, so. Not gonna go any yards further than that. I'm trying to get two to alternative media, but let's move on. Which is essentially very smart AI driven upscale. Hopefully it doesn't come to us. <laughs> it's likely with Nintendo's will include other enhancements. Likely increase the durability, like less flimsy kickstand. Which, by the way, I never use a kickstand on the Switch because it'll fuck up my system, so fuck that. Let's move on. Bluetooth and more advanced Wi-Fi support, among other smaller improvements. Another note, which would be problematic for current Switch owners, is that the Switch Pro might have exclusive titles. The tidbit comes from a proclaimed industry insider who posted it about in Reset Era forums. <laughs> you know, garbage and soccer, that place is pretty much like Red and Fortune, but let's continue. It also goes on to say, as reported by IDT, much like much like the new Nintendo 3DS, which came out almost three and a half years ago, it was the last one, it's like 2018, I think. Which had an increased horsepower. There were a handful of other games designed specifically for hardware. So, considering Nintendo adopted a similar strategy <coughs> before, and tonight out that the realm of the possibility, Tom's guy would continue reporting Switch development pro, Switch Pro developments as news trickles out. So, yeah, um, again, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I truly hope this Nintendo Switch Pro is good, if not better. Compared to the original Nintendo Switch, which was out since 2017. It's literally almost like four and a half years old at this point. And on um, Nintendo Switch Lite as well. Because with the Switch Lite, I never got one. But I heard if you get Joy-Con drift on that thing, <laughs> you pretty much wasted $250 immediately. And uh, I feel bad for anyone that did have that did end up having that issue happen. But let's get on to the second bit of news. I don't think I'm going to get to the Amazon one. I'm going to have to do that one to a separate video. So it says, um, gamers are mad, literally mad at <laughs> Aloy's cheeks and Verizon is over Dawn, Forbidden West, not over Dawn, because of course they are. And then this obviously comes from, um, once again, the gamer. You guys can see it right there in the title. This comes from James Thornton. And we'll play some music on that, obviously. So it says, um, Aloy's cheeks have been, yeah, shout, shout out to that person, James Thornton. You got a credit card. This is like three days old by the time you guys see this. Aloy's cheeks have been the subject to a lot of mockery from the games online in the past few days because they're a bit bigger. <laughs> Bro, this shit, man. This blew up big time. Like last week, I think Saturday or Sunday. And I'm going to get into a little bit late, but I had IRL shit I had to do. Plus, I was extremely lazy on Memorial Day not too long ago. But let's move on. Horizon Zero Dawn Fit. Yes, I keep calling it Zero Dawn. Horizon Forbidden West <clears throat> has been. A staggering success for Sony, hurtling it, an underdog of the record-breaking state of play. However, it wouldn't be the internet <coughs> without a game-catching of the ire players of something as insinuous, I think you say, say it, insinuous, 
and then the fences of Aloy sheets. You see that they're a little bit bigger in horizon zero no, then in zero non ones, for which for the most part is something that would likely not even slip by the radar. For others it's a huge problem. They're calling those calling her derogatory terms, adding her face to enlarge and further and poking fun of the world one of <laughs> fat shaming over a character that isn't remotely out for way. I go with this SJW cancel culture shit. And I've been hearing, oh, it's all wokeism that they're doing it for. I hope not, because you already know how I fucking feel about that fucking meal of that garbage toxic bullshit. But let's move on. One player even said, quote, don't they learn from their mistakes of the other games or what? This is likely in a reference to The Last of Us 2 and Mortal Kombat 11, if it isn't. They're both games that also get a lot of flack for how they're one to look. Not being muscular, but with more clothing on. Both games were a gigantic success story in the Rutgers respective studio. Yeah, oh, man, I didn't want to get that. I don't know if I ever did anything. I think only did two videos on that whole situation with the Horizons were done, but. Oh, that thing that Neil dropped in me. Yeah, The Last of Us 2. I literally was only two ones that I did. I, I never even played the second one. First one I played a little bit, but bored me, but let's run. It's an uphill battle, <coughs> excuse me, when developers are handling women's leads. The Far Cry 6 is on. Announcement sparking a slew of questionable comments, and that game you can play as a man or woman. When there have been countless replies to their stories online, verifying from quote, thank God I don't have a problem play as a woman, quote, unquote, still being made of the choices, even if it's theirs. And I don't know if there's any more. Yeah, there is, but I'm not going to read it. Although this is for certain that a vocal minority and an uproar from the circus of hyenas all carrying out using their platforms like Reddit and Twitter and to call outrage, it's not indicative of what people think. And The Last of Us 2 is proof enough with it breaking records for its sale, in spite of the naysayers claiming that it's a dumpster fire for the disaster. As it stands for Bidden West is one of the most watched state of plays after one day. It's already making waves online. It's likely to be a huge hit or sales too, which, when it does eventually launch, Aloy's cheeks are a strange point to get hung up on, especially in the face of the stunning next-gen visually fidelity <laughs> and all new gameplay announcements like her hang glide. Yeah, I saw that hang glide. Gosh. If you see my reaction on it, and matter of fact, I'll try to leave a link to switch buttons down below. You saw how hyped as hell I was for this shit, man. And I did my reaction last week in this motherfucker. Oh my god, I wasn't even thinking of it. Oh, she got fat chubby cheeks and she looks kind of ugly and she's problematic. She looks like some SJW third away feminist bitch cunt. And I wasn't even thinking about none of that. Honestly. Literally, I had no idea that was even a thing. Like, bro, if I knew that was a thing, I would have been pissed off about it. But man, oh, just the gameplay in general looks super badass. So, uh, I'm probably not gonna get to these either. I really, really wanted to show these two. Well, this one I couldn't, well, this one I couldn't hear. <laughs> Cause it's, uh, as you can tell, it's a very lewd R34 shit game show. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was looking through Pokemon Dying Pro, see how they were gonna do, like, the Battle Frontier chick for, um, Dolly. If any people don't know that is, that was a chick you had to fight in the Battle Frontier for Dying Pro Platinum, the original ones. I know everyone loves the crap out of Cynthia or a Dawn, but, Mm, she is so freaking underrated, man. Chick is one of the best waifu looking girls next to Fatina, in my personal opinion. Ever. Or even Maylene, aka the original emo goth version before Marnie was a thing, but I'm not talking about Pokemon today. So, uh, JJ Abrams, this is over eight days old. I don't know how the fuck I didn't hear this, but gotta get credit for credit due to my girl. I don't know if it was, uh, Aliza Alazi? Alazi? Or, um, I think Vera Dark. I don't know. It was one of those two. This comes from Pete Duvall. And, wow, I'm only going to have one minute to say this, so I won't be able to do my outro today, unfortunately. So it says, uh, <laughs> as you guys can see, Portal, fucking Portal, man. If there's a Portal live action, I would lose my shit in a good way. And I hope to God it ends up being good. It says, uh, yeah, grab your cake companion and do not eat the cake. Your producer J.J. Abrams says that the film adaptation of Portal remains to be occurring with the script of his own growth. There's big information on the condition and challenges of the Portal film was introduced eight years ago. And a little has been mentioned concerning the challenges of this point <clears throat> that, 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 that may not probably not occur. Talking to IGN, Abram said, We at Bad Robot do actually have a script that's being written at Portal Movie Warner Bros. We recently decided to take it a pitch, so it feels like things are finally on rails. The final time we have information concerning Portal Film was again in 2016 when Abram promised to create. Fairly soon, it took long to longer than anticipated, but with the script definitely growing, 
meaning the film's transferring alongside 